My biggest passion in life has been music. We love being able to affect and touch and change people's lives with that music. It's all I've known. It's all we've known, pretty much. And we feel like it's kind of like our destiny to do. <laughs> Even though I do get burnt out on a lot of traveling because we've done it for so long. That gets a little tough, you know. We've known each other for a long time. Same hometown. We went to the same restaurants and all that stuff. I used to go see them play in Hollywood when they were playing at Gazzari's. A lot of roots with us. I love these guys like brothers, man. We've known each other for so long. I know them. I know their ups, their downs. And we've been personal with each other, you know, and helped each other in many ways. Been there for each other. And uh, shared a lot of great experiences and moments together. So I'm very grateful for that. Right now, everything feels like it just naturally happens and works out in a great way, and it's anointed by God. We feel that He's given us a vision and a calling upon our lives to still do this. We have ourselves a new bass player. I think I met him back in the 80s, but I didn't, you know, everything was going so fast. You meet a bazillion people and you, you just can't remember everything. But what a nice guy. We were all three so floored with his humility. That's what really got us. I mean, he's a great bass player, he's a great singer. That really stunned us was his singing ability. But uh, his humility is what made us go, yeah. He's really a sweet guy, you know? That's the first thing, when he came in the room before we played with him and sang with him, we just noticed big smile and super happy guy. And then you add to that his talent and his abilities in terms of being a bass player and a great player at that, uh, in his spirit, his attitude. And we just thought, man, this guy's like the perfect player for us and perfect guy to be in this band. And we're just thrilled to have him. He's great. He's perfect. Has a great vibe, has a great voice. Just everything about him was just right. It's a recharge, plain and simple. We, we were kind of running on empty and draining out and we got recharged again. And that's funny, that's how God works. God will take you when you're at your lowest or you think, gosh, are we gonna continue or how is this gonna work out? And he'll turn things around in a really positive way. Things feel great, the band. I mean, it's been a long road, but man, I, we feel reinvented. It feels like with Perry, with the new album, with some new songs, with the new attitude, with the new tour coming, it feels like, hey guys, you know, we're doing this again and it just feels exciting. And to a small degree, almost like we're kids again. Like we're, we're 18, 19, 20 years old again. That same kind of, yeah, you know, deer in the headlights, excitement. Who cares about anything else? This is fun, let's just go make music and, and enjoy every second of it. It feels like that. Things right now are looking good. There's always been unity in the band. It's always been there. As far as Striper is concerned, I mean, Striper is bigger than any one of us. I want to see it run well. I just want to still continue to have a message and be a part of something that has a message. That's what Striper's been about for years now, decades. And the music sounds great, it's grooving. When Oz and Rob were here listening to the basic tracks, I looked at their faces and I remember seeing this look on their faces I don't think I've ever really seen before, maybe way back in the day, but this kid on Christmas morning kind of look, that's what they had and that's what I had because of how this album is shaping up. It's got a groove, man, and it's got this clarity and this definition and a certain level of energy I don't know that we've reached before. You know, we tried to on No More Hell, we tried to on Fallen, and I think we did a great job with those albums, they're killer albums, but this is raising the bar. Hearing how this record's coming out, we believe there is good things ahead and God's not done. We feel it's a good direction, we feel a very peaceful feeling. We feel like there's a lot more in store for the band. There is a renewed sense of purpose. Having Perry come and be a part of the team, for lack of a better way of putting it, we feel like a new team and we feel like, hey, let's go win the series. Let's go take the trophy home. That's what we've done. And I believe there's a future in it and we just gotta keep going forward and see what happens.
I would hope that good things are coming. And good things do happen with this band. And good people surround this band. I'm just happy to be a part of this. The future is so bright, I gotta wear shades. We've always been that kind of a band. We're the underdogs who have always risen above and always come out on top. Thank God. Nothing's gonna stop us, man. I'm gonna be 55 years old. Why stop now? Yeah.